Hello. So this is going to be a video about my experience with Stronghouse Training and their accountability program. So I have a big list here of stuff uh, that I want to go over. So I'm going to try not to make the video too long, but there is kind of a lot of information here. So quickly, uh, my name is Brad Taylor. I'm 43 years old. Um, I'm not super big on sharing a bunch of private stuff, um, but I feel like potentially this could help other people start making uh, advances and getting healthier so and you know potentially signing up with strong house and their accountability program because you don't need to be local to them um so yeah uh let's see also i'm not an extreme case i wasn't i wasn't super overweight or anything like that i was just unhealthy and unhappy about it um for a long time i was very athletic well hold on not very athletic necessarily. I was very active in high school. I played sport. I did wrestling, swimming, and water polo. I did tennis one year. Um, after high school, I didn't do I didn't do anything athletic on purpose. And then with injuries, you know, in my 20s, from one knee getting messed up uh, in a motorcycle accident and another the other knee getting really messed up in a fight, I didn't do anything about getting them fixed. I just ignored them and tried not to use them as much as possible, which of course didn't make anything better. I'm a small business owner. Um, I own a restaurant, me and my wife do. And um, when we started that, that's that's when I really stopped doing anything to be healthy because I was wholly focused on the business. That's an excuse, but it's what happened. So that was in 2013. Till now, I, this is the first time that I've actually dedicated myself to getting healthy again. So, and I didn't do it on my own. Uh, full disclosure, I've actually been friends with Avina from Stronghouse um, since 2004, 2005, and um, it's really cool to see uh, what she's doing with her gym, and just, um, we've been friends for a long time, so it's cool to see where we where we both are now. It was a double whammy of a couple of things that got me really focused this time around, which is looking at my eating habits as an addiction. I quit smoking. Um long time ago, I had quit drinking, and now I maybe have three drinks, uh, four drinks a month um, because I don't ever want to go there again. So having battled with those two addictions, it took me forever to realize that I had a food issue. I don't want to say that I was a food addict, but I came to realize that the food was making choices for me. I wasn't, I wasn't in charge the food was. I'd get an urge for food and that was it. I'd, I'd go eat it. Give me a whole pizza. I will I will take care of it. So that was one of the things my relationship with food combined with my unhappiness with my physical self. I knew I was getting weaker, especially with COVID hitting. Man, I was doing absolutely nothing. Prior to COVID, I was not, I don't want to say that I was exercising on the regular, but I was going to jujitsu on the regular for almost a year. So I wasn't doing nothing. But then once COVID hits, I'm sitting around the house literally all day, every day, eating whatever the hell I want. So it got pretty bad. I got to the heaviest I've ever been in my life. I'm six foot four and I was two, but I'm really skinny, right? So I was, I was six foot four and 234 pounds. Over the years, Avina has given me lots and lots of advice. I've asked her for advice, uh, but I never stuck with any of it. I just went right back to pizza and doing whatever I wanted. So I started all of this about three months ago. And I, well, it was like three months and 10 days. So those 10 days, I had changed my diet and I had lost about eight pounds. And after those 10 days, I was talking to Avina about it. And she was like, dude, why don't you just do the accountability program? And I was like, screw it, I'm, I'm ready, let's do it. As of today, which is the 31st day, uh, so I just finished the, the account three-month accountability program yesterday. I am in the best shape I've been in probably since high school. And 206, um, which I don't care that much about the weight, but still, it matters. Um, and I couldn't be happier about it. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to, you know, what the next three months looks like and, you know, a year from now and so on. So the accountability program basically is you sit down, you have a, a lot of conversation with Avina at Stronghouse and get a, she gets a good idea of, 
what's going on with your body, where your weaknesses are, what your diet is like, um, any other issues that you might have. And she is actually trained in all of this, right? She's educated in all of this. She, she works really, really hard to know what she's doing. She takes all of that information. They build out a, uh, f a diet plan for you. Not, not diet in the sense of you're now on a diet, but this is what your diet should look like um, for the goals that you want to reach. And then here is your exercise schedule and what you should be working on. And then if you, like what I did is I do the exercises she asked me to do. And then I also found something else that I could do for exercise, jujitsu and swimming. Finding the, the commitment to it, that was a hard part. Um, I really just was tired of being unhappy with myself and doing nothing about it. I want to make a change. I want to be healthier and I want to be in better shape. I don't want to get weaker as I get older and I'm getting older. Managing expectations. So I had this wrong in the, in the start. I was 100% focused on losing weight. Now, Avina had told me over and over again, your goals need to be changing your habits to healthy habits, eating healthy, and exercising regularly. That's what your goals need to be because being in better shape and losing weight, if you if you do those goals of changing your habits, those will be byproducts of changing your habits. About a month into it or a month and a half, um, my weight plateaus. And logically I can go, yeah, Brad, that's because you're gaining a little bit of muscle and losing a little bit of weight. So it's starting to even out a little bit. It still sent me into a frenzy in my brain of like, this is where normally I would have quit because it didn't make sense. I wasn't getting what I wanted out of it. So pizza is too good. But I stopped and I used the logical side of my brain and I said, Avina knows what she's doing. She's set you out on this plan. Do what she's telling you. She's She warned you about this exact moment. She said, your goals are wrong. Your goals need to be changing your habits to healthy habits. And that's sort of when it all clicked for me. It's when my goals did change. And now they gave me a lot of ease, like it put me at ease to where now I can just focus on being consistent with my diet and my exercise and the other stuff will come and I'll be happy when it gets here, but I don't, I'm not super concerned about it right now. Finding an exercise that you can be excited about. That was a big deal. That, that was one of the few like major points of this for me was realizing like there's a YMCA right down the road. I swam in high school. Why don't I go try swimming? The main reason I never thought of it is because I hated swimming. If I was in the pool, I would prefer to be playing water polo. But I was like, hey, give it a shot. And sure enough, I loved it. I absolutely loved getting back in the water. Was quickly up to, in my 45 minutes, you know, approaching 4,000 meters each swim, which for me, that's great. I'm excited. I'm getting a good workout in, full body workout. It's not hard on my joints. Um, it was perfect for me. So don't be afraid to go try a bunch of different things, tennis, soccer, or whatever. If there's something happening close to you that you can go try, give it a shot because it might just be the thing that really helps you commit to exercising on a regular basis. Go try jujitsu. I love jujitsu. I get hurt in jujitsu. Like during all of this, I, uh, I ended up separating a rib, which was a month ago. And that took me out of doing anything for four days. And then on the fifth day, I was like, screw it. I'm going to go to the pool and see if I can do anything. And I found out that I could do breaststroke without making anything worse. So I just, I did <laughs> 4,000 meters of breaststroke for like three and a half or four weeks straight. I couldn't do jujitsu, but I could still swim. Do everything you can to find a way to exercise that you actually enjoy because that makes a massive, massive difference. I literally have on my list, do what Strong House tells you to do. In a perfect world, we could put, I could have just said Avina, given Avina the controller to my brain and she could just map out everything that I need to do every day. And and then in a few months I could check back in and I'd have a, I'd be in great shape and super happy about it. But this is like the closest you can get to that. You, you journal everything that you eat and everything that you do every day. Um, they go over it. 
if you're falling off track that they're going to tell you about it there's weekly zoom meetings this is the closest you can get to it if you do what they tell you to do you're getting really really great information from people that know what they're doing and if you do what they tell you to do your three-month program or however long you do it you're going to get what you want to get out of it and like i literally did i got what i wanted out of it and it's setting me on a course that if i maintain this course the the best possible health conditions for me as i get older which i couldn't be more happy about right <clears throat> my wife's doing it with me she's younger than me in better shape than me and she, she, like she, her she did awesome at this <laughs> so cooking if you don't already have cooking skills spend a bunch of time on youtube get some cooking skills down because there are options you don't have to cook for yourself you can find somebody locally supplying meals and stuff that's a lot more expensive and if you forget about it well then you're screwed you don't have anything to eat for dinner the meal I make most, quarter head of cabbage, chop it up, and then whatever other veggies I have, bell peppers, squash, whatever's available. And I fry, quick fry that stuff up, like four or five, six minutes at high heat, um, salt and pepper. I'll take some chicken that I already cooked, slice that up, put it in a pan with some onions and teriyaki sauce. And as soon as that's hot, I put it on the veggies and done. And we're talking like a 12 minute meal. Something to keep in mind. If you don't have the equipment or the skill to cook for yourself, start working on that too. That's a great skill to have. Two other things that help me out quite a bit are my Apple Watch and my Whoop Strap, which is W-H-O-O-P. This one stays on all on your person all the time. Like when I do jujitsu, I have a sleeve that it gets put into and then I wear it here so that it doesn't get pulled off, you know, during jujitsu. Um, I wear it while I'm swimming, you wear it while you're sleeping, and the amount of data you get from the WHOOP, especially if you're like me and data-driven, to be able to look back at what happened today and how everything went and where I can improve, the combination of these two is huge for me. This one tracks my swims lap by lap. It knows what's, uh, which strokes I'm doing. Like, It keeps track of everything, so that allows me to compare my workouts over time uh, in the pool, which is great. Um, so these two are big, a big help. My plans, I'm just going to try to keep it up as long as I can try and get in better shape. You know, I hope to check in three months from now or a month from now or, and you know, over time, just keep getting better. And strong house is a resource for me at this point. So when things change and I want to work on a specific thing, I can reach out and get an answer, you know, an educated answer, which is great. My plans are to maintain good habits. I want to say thanks. I want to say thanks to Avina and Stronghouse and to my wife, Bree. This has been an awesome experience. I'm going to do everything I can to keep it up and uh, pretty happy about it. So thanks for watching.